Today we'll be installing the Gigabyte GeForce GTX 1050. This graphics card takes a PCI 16-bit card slot in your computer. PCI Express. We're installing it in an Acer Aspire i7-7700. Right now we're removing the case cover screws. And now we're lifting off the case cover. Okay. To the left of the fan is the uh, PCIe card slot that we'll be using for our graphics card. The card will cover both of those slots, the small bit, the small slot as well as the full slot. Okay, I'm lifting, or, yeah, lifting off this clamp to gain access to the back of the uh, PCI um, car slot area so we can put the uh, back plates in, the back plate for the car. Now, okay, we're lining up the car. We're being careful not to clip any wires such as the... Uh, Wi-Fi antenna that we've just made contact with. Okay, I'm going to have to rotate the case so I can push down on the card and get a tight fit. Ensure that the white tab at the back of the PCI slot is pushed back. When you insert the card, this tab will snap into place. You can see the tab there indicated by the yellow arrow. Okay, I'm rocking the card back and forth to get it situated into the card slot and then I'm pushing down and snapping the card into the uh, expansion slot. It snaps into position. I raise the clamp. You can see the, uh, the card is there. Okay, I raise the clamp. It snaps back into place. And then one screw will secure the card in place from on this end. There's a view of the card as it is installed from the side. You can see that the white uh, tab is snapped into place. Okay, here's the card from the top. You can see the, uh, the other slots to the left of the fan are the memory slots. And then this is your old VGA video port and your HDMI video port on this particular model. Either way, your old video ports will not be used any longer. They are disabled. And now here are the three ports that you will be using that are part of your new video card. Okay, we'll replace the case cover. And then we replace the uh, two screws that go with the case cover to keep the to keep everything tightened there. And then this is the view of the card uh, with the cables installed. Okay, this is the software that comes with the card. This is the GeForce Experience software. On this machine, I have uh, look like a farming simulator and some Blizzard uh, games. I have this check to check for updates and notify me when updates are available. That just to, to the video drivers primarily we're talking about. 
this is for like uh, running live live games okay your uh, your rig so to speak is indicated at the right with your video card your driver version memory video resolution and such okay under drivers you can check your uh, the current driver version that you're running to make sure that you're up to date and that is the GeForce experience okay this app is your gigabyte Aurorus engine uh, when you hit monitor some graphs come up to the left of this view they're not showing up on my recording but you can adjust change your uh, adjustments for CPU boost memory clock etc make your changes as I'm doing here to the fan and then when you get uh, hit manual then make your change and hit apply and the fans are revving up now and then click to turn them back off hit apply and that shows an example of using uh, control on the fans also here are uh, settings for when this app will start how it runs minimalize so forth and also check for updates automatically that's your Aurora's software okay okay this is um starcraft running i want to check to see what starcraft for example uh recommends as settings for this card you can see how it's working there and then under this different uh, video graphic settings you, I'm, right now it's running um, Windows full screen I usually run simply full screen but for the recording I have to do windowed full screen you can see that the software is recommending high for all settings and there's medium for post processing I can tell you I've run it on ultra just to try it out. It seems to work just fine on Ultra, but I'm telling you that the StarCraft software recommends high for settings. So the card seems to be running well. It's certainly not being stressed. I've used it for rendering a couple of videos. It runs very well. And I have to recommend this as an entry-level Pascal card. And I certainly hope that you've enjoyed this video.